Noted. <laughs> don't, don't, say, do what, do don't do that. Don't do Don't do that. Don't do K. Yeah. Say. Don't even just say thanks. Maybe say thanks. I appreciate. Like a little just sentence. Keep, I think you should. If anything. Short, but keep me informed. You know, let me know how yeah, things go. It's, I think they're overthinking it. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I almost see it like it's the same as like you know when they say when your parents are like drop your resume off and then you know see how things go. If you don't hear from anything from them or if you apply for a job, just check in on them and just be like, hey, just so you know, I've dropped mm-hmm. off my resume. Like that feels a little bit. Yeah. Like I always felt like that feels like too much to do to be like. Oh, I, I disagree. It feels awkward to be like, hey, did you know? It's like, oh yeah, we saw it. It was shit. And yeah. we're actually, <laughs> we don't like you. We'll respond to you. Like Dude, that's how many like. Jobs and interviews I've got because I've done the follow up. Yeah, up. like yeah, right. uh, there's been times where I've, I've I've applied for jobs and then haven't heard anything. Yeah, and just 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 saying like you know just just touching bases to yeah. see if you guys have made a decision. And they were like, oh, great, you got in touch, coming for an interview tomorrow. Bang, you just got back to the top of the pile. Yeah, yeah. and I think it's because you're showing enthusiasm. Because yeah. the way I look at it, a lot of time is they either say yes or no. They yeah. either say yeah, we're yeah, yeah. going another way or like. But you get this, an answer. This person's keen. Yeah. Let's get him in. And then you don't always get a response. But I, I mean, I've spoken about this before in the podcast, but I've just been, when it comes to my line of work, just shameless because, right, right. you know, who cares? Yeah. At the end of the day, just, I'm, yeah. I'm not ringing them Daddy's up. Daddy's got to eat. <laughs> yes, that's right. And I'm not, it's not like I'm calling the number up and saying, beautiful. Yeah, I'm not yeah, doing right, that. Right, right. I'm just emailing to say like, hey, I am interested. I'm yeah. showing enthusiasm. And that's it, you know? Yeah. Noted. Yeah, noted. Noted. No, hey, <laughs> I'll stop it. Hey, right, stop right, that. Right, yeah. Can you please stop that? <laughs> I see. Now it's annoying. <laughs> uh, so Perfect. Is that a good enough advice? I think for, so. I think so. Exercise bike. I think you can Damien's follow up. Looking at the shark, he's, get, like, he's getting ready. I, get I think. I think it's one of those ones where if you're going to say something, don't say one word. Yeah. Say maybe a sentence, or don't say anything at all. Yeah. It's yeah. one or the other. I'm don't with... don't half ass it. Okay. Well, let's leave it there for exercise bike. That's it's funny because it. Damien took his jacket off and it, like he was basically going to start a fight with the shark team. Yeah, out. he's getting ready. He's like, all right, let's see what we're going to do. So Damien is uh, he's ready to get comfortable. Just um, get out slowly. You'll be around. No butt on there. No, you can. I mean, if you want to. Sh- 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 it's where everyone you put your needles. So if you yeah. want to put needles up your butt. Mm. I want to be. Oh. oh, here we go. Oh, it kind of does feel nice though. It does mm. feel nice. Mm. And then it sets in and you feel a little pain. It, feels it like goes I'm, away. It feels like I'm lying on a cactus, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, I've, got, I've got to read now, that's don't how, I? Yeah, that's how whoever decide, des- designed the Shark D yeah. like, got into it. He fell on a cactus like, what if oh. I could do this and monetize it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do you know what like the added benefits of this are supposed to be, Tom? What am I supposed to be doing uh, I don't right know, now? But I know you could stand on it and apparently it's supposed to help you with headaches, which I'm like, how does standing on it help standing me? It, it's no. because you forget about the pain in your head yeah. and you focus yeah, on the pain right. in your feet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, act- it's acupuncture. So, I mean, I know nothing about it. I think the thing barely came with a manual. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> But they're like, what's there to learn? It's, it, there's, there's better nails. Learn it. Yeah. See, I don't mind this because I go to an osteo and they yeah. use acupuncture a lot of the time. All oh, right. But I would take this over because I've had like needles in my face and stuff. Oh, or right. <laughs> no, thank they you. They stick like needles in your toes or. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes they hit like a, a nerve or something and your fingers just start involuntarily <laughs> twitching. And I'm like, that's Put a, a bad piano n- in front of me. The- <laughs> <laughs> I oh become my God, a, I'm a prodigy. Mozart, yeah. <laughs> I turn me into Mozart. <laughs> God, if only. Instead, all I play is chopsticks. It's yeah. nothing yeah. exciting. Oh, no. <laughs> we, hit, <laughs> we hit the dumbass nerve. All right. Uh, this what? is going to come from, uh, oh, what do I even call this? Fake owl? <laughs> Fake I have owl. to describe it. So, okay. for whatever reason, in my neighborhood, yep. uh, there is just like a plethora of of birds. Sure. Like Alfred Hitchcock could have just set up a camera in my street and yeah. he would have been able to yeah. film his whole movie. <laughs> yeah, right, right. No, They'd no, be attacking no, people. They'd be doing everything. They want to remake it. They'll save on uh, CG costs. Then just yeah. go to Damien Street. Yeah. So, and me and my girlfriend have been growing like uh, strawberries and all this type of stuff. Yeah, right. And the birds have been having a field day. They nice. love it. Mm-hmm. Nice. So we bought a fake owl that has like a rotating head is apparently meant to scare these birds straight and they won't touch your plants. Sure. Yep. I think within the span of two minutes of me putting the owl <laughs> there, I had birds landing on the owl and <laughs> shitting on it. So it did absolutely nothing. Fuck if your anything, owl. it emboldened the owl. Yeah. It's so, funny. My dad did the exact same thing because we have like pet food or whatever it is, the dry kibble. Yeah. Birds will come and eat it and then shit all over the pavement. My yeah. dad hates it. Yeah. So put all these owls, fake owls up. Birds don't do, don't care. They don't care. Yeah, well, I don't know who gave them the who's, idea who's of these fake the, owls in the fake owl business, like yeah. being like, "Oh yeah, selling all these owls," and then still able to sell them mm. even when they're not successful. 
I don't, it was dumb. Yeah. But they, I do have a backup plan. Right. It's going to take a lot longer, yeah. but I've been looking into it. <laughs> you dress up as an owl? <laughs> <laughs> you bought an owl costume. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's the logical next step. Yeah. I'm going to quit my job. I'm the human scarecrow. <laughs> so I'm going to come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to quit my job. My girlfriend's going to dress up as Dorothy. Pretty sure. And the scarecrow. Yeah. This is the Batman villain origin story. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny. Well, the thing is, apparently you can befriend crows. Okay. And I have crows yeah. in my area. Okay. Apparently, if you come out every day at a certain time, and you feed crows, you would oh. de- eventually develop a relationship with them. <laughs> yeah. Where they'll be like, hey, I know this guy. Wow. You keep feeding them, right? And you build a relationship with them. You know you're in when they start bringing you shiny things because yep. then it's like an exchange. Yeah. <laughs> this will take months, by the way. <laughs> I, I have say. to like, it'd be like every day at two o'clock, I'm going He's out to feed these crows. A wristwatch. He doesn't have any other pets. He's going to have a pet crow. Yeah, but right. crows are also very territorial. So okay. they would be like basically my. My, they'd be Murder Inc. They'd be my yeah. bodyguards <laughs> yeah, right. around my house scaring the other Murder. birds off. Yeah. yeah. But it was funny because I happened to go across this bird forum where people were reading about how they befriended crows. Right. And people were talking about how it's fun and stuff. But then there's a few people who were like, oh, just be wary that if you get in good with the crows, <laughs> they will attack anybody who visits your house. Oh, great. Right. Yeah, so we'll show up, Marcus. So people were like, my parents came to visit and the crows were dive bombing them. They couldn't get to my front door. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And like, the parents basically had to like give them food offerings yeah. in order to get into the house. You need to be friends with the crows, mum. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So maybe I don't want like my, my nonna being attacked yeah, when yeah, she yeah. comes to my house. But F- Funny story about... Crow befriending. Yeah. My dad, again, Friends befriended a crow. Yeah. But at, at I, I his think work. I am your dad, Mark. Yeah, you are. Are. <laughs> no, I don't know what. No, it wasn't my dad. It was more my right. cousin at the at his work. Yeah. And they would just feed the crows. Right. Eventually, this, well, not the crows, one crow. They called him, I can't remember what his name was. Anyway, <laughs> they gave him a name too. Yeah. Anyway, they stopped feeding him and he started squawking like, hey, right. where's my food now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So angry. get ready for that too. Yeah. They, hey. they get they get angry. And yeah, also- <laughs> I, if it's, and burp Yeah, exactly. I, I think it sort of makes sense now that why you're wearing a shirt that is coloured like the Adelaide Crows. Yeah, <laughs> you're a big fan of the Crows. That's it. You um, already live in the park. I'm going to get up because whenever I laugh, it hurts. <laughs> you haven't even read the question yet. Oh, fine. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> All right. What would you do in this situation? I'm a manager at a retail chain that I won't name because I don't want to get fired. For whatever reason, shoplifters plague our store. The store's only method of deterring it is to be obnoxiously customer service oriented. So basically, we can do nothing. From day one, every employee receives his training and are constantly reminded of it. Tonight, 20 minutes before closing, we had a shoplifter make a run for it out of our store with goods in hand. One of our employees happened to be outside pushing trolleys saw the shoplifter and pushed the trolley into their path nice. and took the shoplifter out. Nice. The shoplifter dropped what they'd taken and scrambled into the night, scared out of their mind. It was so freaking cool, but also against company policy. <sighs> and it's a strict no-tolerance policy when it comes to this stuff. People have been fired for a lot less. I'm hesitant to report this incident because there is a huge chance the employee who stopped the thief will lose their job. And I don't want it to happen because they already lost their actual job due to COVID. Do I sweep this incident under the rug or do I follow company protocol? Fake owl. Ooh. You know, you know what the best part is about that whole question? What? When this person was getting really heated in their question, you were too because of the needles. Yes. Oh, right, the needles right. they were help for realism. To, yeah, oh, it's God. true. It's true. How do you it's feel like 4D, now? You feel it's like 4D podcast experience. Yeah. It was actually kind of nice. Dude. It is. It's right. a nice feeling. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whoever, whoever gave this to you, Tom, who's a yeah. fool. They're lost. They're lost. They're lost. Maybe they didn't give it long enough. Yeah, that's, that's it, what that's it was. It. Anyway. It's, it's interesting because, like, this is one of those things I think I saw on the news the other day. Was it on the news? No. I think I saw it on, like, social media or something like that. Mm-hmm. Someone had, like, basically shoplifted something and, like, a civilian had stopped them. Like, someone that in the shopping centre. Let's just say they run out of a, I don't know. Citizen's s- arrest. Let's say they were shopping yeah. at Suzanne's because yep. we all know that everyone that shops at Suzanne's are crooked. Can crooked. you confess uh, that with me? I heard that this goes with that at Suzanne's. This does yeah. go with that. <laughs> okay. And that, that's, why right. like, yeah. that's why this guy's like, I need that. Yeah, <laughs> I need that because so, I've got this. I already have this. Mid- middle-aged, women, <laughs> middle-aged women love to, to shoplift, yeah. obviously, is what I'm saying. It's, 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 a, it's a stereotype. So they ran out of Suzanne's into the shopping centre and then someone was like, stop that guy. And then someone stopped that guy. 
And I feel like that is one of those things where it's like, sorry, <laughs> just imagine the guy who citizens arrest him like as he's punching the shot, like this, this goes, goes with that <laughs> left jab, right jab. That's <laughs> um, Okay. So, like, and I feel like that's one of those things where it's like you can't, as the sh- person shopping there, s- physically stop them. Mm. But if you're there as a civilian, that's when you can do a bit of justice. Yeah, right? yeah, I would yeah. imagine that you would not be ever seen as like a the company can't fire you. B you probably can't get an assault charge. I would assume. I'm not. I'm not saying like you're gonna tackle them and then start laying into him. Yeah. But the video was showing like the guy dragging this person back to the store. To be like, oh, really? Yeah, like, get in there, you, you son of a bitch. You, you, you crook. Yeah. Okay. Like, so I, I feel like that's one of those things where it's like you can live out that sort of, you can help in a way if you're- That vigilante. You could be Batman. Not like a vigilante. You could be Batman while Damien's being the scarecrow. Yeah. <laughs> Damien's like, I don't want you to be Batman. He's my nemesis. Um, but like, I feel like that's the only time where you can actually get involved because even when like, if sh- people are shoplifting, they're told like, you just got to let them leave. Yeah. Like if they take anything from a Coles or a supermarket- let be- him go. Because I think the reason is, from a head office point of view, is if you try and stop them and then get injured, then the yeah. company is on you. Uh, on It's on them to make you better because you were, you were stopping shoplifting yeah. for the company. And vice versa, if you hurt the shoplifter, then the company is, is liable, liable for that as well. It, exactly. And it's probably like a Suzanne Top is not worth the medical bills. No. So they're just like, screw it, we'll, we'll, we'll lose a loss. So. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you guys know. encountered... Uh, shoplifters in your line of work anything like no, that I've never had anyone sort of sh- like shoplift and, and run away and I'd never really worked in retail like that I I, guess. I, I did and yeah. I have seen shoplifters before really? I worked at a bookstore yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's shut down now so I can talk about it freely yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. Sure. I think it's shut down anyway yeah. there's, there's, there's yeah. a retail you store let too many people go <laughs> yeah, they, they, book of records. They, they let us go yeah. there's a guy just pushing a literal bookshelf out of the store <laughs> I don't like, like, I can't stop you yeah. alright yeah, I don't good. understand why someone was trying to steal the book from Borders because Borders allow you to openly read the book in the store. Just, just you can steal it by sitting in the store and reading no it. No wonder they went under. Yeah, yeah, there was like a cafe in there, right? There's, there's like glory jeans in there. Yeah. yeah. I think that's also gone. I don't know. Maybe that's I mean, not under. Anyway. Borders can any, suck. Any, anything that Borders touched fucking <laughs> turned the dust. Yeah. Borders can suck it because <laughs> they just got me a job interview there and they didn't hire me. So. Oh, you should have called them back. <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, Damien mm. also says he bombed in that oh, interview. Oh, I tanked that interview. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Besides the point, I saw a shoplift up tape books. Yeah. I was at the counter. This guy ran out the door and I was just like, mm. I ain't doing shit. Yep. But another guy who's more beefier, like he was a stronger guy. Yeah. Yeah. He chased the, the guy. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, really? He chased him through the car parks of the shopping center yeah. over there, ran. Eventually the guy just dropped the book. Yeah. I'm like, because this, okay. this guy was buff and, and all that. He came back in. He was all high and mighty. Like, you know, he stopped the shoplifter. Yeah, yeah. But the manager's like, thank you for doing that. Don't do it again. No, but like, just okay, let it go. he didn't do anything wrong though, no. right? I would sort of be like, I'm I'm pursuing the, the perp. Yeah. And I'd get on the phone to like the I'm police. Like, yeah, the suspect perp. is heading east. <laughs> Take it he easy. Like Batman. Batman. Heading east towards rebel sport. I am in pursuit. I would yeah. just keep up with him. Would you yeah. really? Well, Tom, well, Tom's a long distance Dude, runner. I can run. if, if this person's going to run, Tom's going to catch I know, him. Chase I know. I could, run, I could run after him for at least 42 kilometers. Tom, Tom, is like, I've run. Tom is the forest gump of this room. And it, probably of most shopping centers. I would just keep a tail on them. That's it. You know what I mean? Like, I would just sort of be like, you know, I'll keep a safe distance, like yeah. two car lengths away. Yeah. Like, I don't want to crash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? He's going to tail them. And realistically, as soon as this guy realizes, like, oh, my God, it's like getting chased by a polar bear. So yeah. It doesn't matter. They'll they'll keep going for yeah. you. They'll keep finding you. I'm like a polar bear. You're yeah. like the liquid dude from Terminator. Yeah. He just does not stop running. <laughs> exactly. It's like, it's like, a, it's like as, a, as a perp as well, you're running. You're like, I don't know what this person's capable of. He's just yeah. chasing me. Yeah. I don't know if he can beat me up. Yeah. Or but he, he should know that I don't want you. I want the books. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, I'm, Drop the books yeah. and we're good. And that's what I'd be saying. Like, drop the books and you won't get hurt. That's what I'd be yelling at him. <laughs> yeah. you know? as, as I'm running through the shopping centre. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think, like, that's not... You're not engaging with them. You're not sort of hurting them. Yeah. I know it's like, yeah, it's bad if you were to get hurt. They could be... Well, he's running yeah. through the... He was running through the car park. What if a car... Dunk hit him. That's yeah. very Terminator, actually. Yeah, it's like very dun, 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 dun. Yeah, he, he just stole he, a semi trailer. He was probably <laughs> listening to it in his head, like dun, 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 dun. yeah, as he's running. Dun, dun, dun. That didn't catch me. the. I, I don't know, whatever. Finally, that's the same noise the car makes as it runs over <laughs> him. <laughs> <laughs> Shut down, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> that's your torso oh, and your legs that's, getting that's crushed. That's dark. That's dark. <laughs> um. So what? So this person here, right? Yeah. They're they're saying that. Well, the manager feels like he has to follow company policy because. Do I throw them under the bus. Oh, is he a manager? Yeah, he's the manager okay, okay. of the store and they witness one of their employees Do stop it. the... Like, he knows this guy's already lost his job and he works at this job 
after losing his job to COVID, he's like, yeah. do I want to throw him under the bus? Yeah. As the bus runs yeah. over him. <laughs> and this like, a, make him lose his second job. Yeah, yeah, this is a different version of the trolley problem. This yeah. is like a very different version. That's very this true. is the shopping trolley yeah, problem. That's, that's true, that's true. I would say there's there's a very a common line that goes in prison right. that you should live by with this manager. Yep. Snitches get stitches. Oh, okay. I don't know, dude. In this yeah. case, do they? No, well... Man, why make this guy lose his job? Like, yeah, for, no. for the benefit of the like, he did it well. I would yeah. say, go to the guy and say, I appreciate it. You've yeah. done well. I'm not mm. going to say anything. Just don't do it again. Let him but go. There, I think a stern warning is okay. Yeah, I, I agree with that. But I mean, I've worked a lot of retail jobs and there's always incident reports. Was, even if somebody comes in and nothing happens, the paperwork. We yeah. have to write that stuff oh. down and take note of it. Like, I, I was once at a, at a shop that actually got robbed, got held up. Mm. Um, it was. 